What's up guys, we are back with some Skyrim Special Edition. Today we're going to be checking out a few mods. The first one that we're going to be trying out is the Sandbox Player NPC mod, which is uh, kind of like an animation immersive mod. So what it's going to do is you're going to get a spell as soon as you start the game, and you can use this spell to make your character interact with the nearby interactables. You know, you'll be able to do things that only NPCs can do, I, I imagine like leaning up against the walls um, and any of those other NPC uh, animations that you see NPCs do that the player cannot do. Maybe like sitting on the side of a ledge. Sometimes I see NPCs do that as well. And I know that the player cannot do that. So that's really nice. Uh, simple spell sandbox that allows your character to become AI driven and interact with all sorts of furniture and idols exclusive to NPCs becoming an NPC essentially obtain the spell on game on game load so uh when casting sandbox that's a power spell it will make your character become ai driven all throughout the current location you're in interacting with furniture sleeping and eating cast the spell once again in order to gain control of the player character you can also cast this spell on on a furniture you would want to interact like a hidden idol that's only for an npc and it will work or just sit back and let the AI driven player decide. Depending on the time of day, AI will occasionally eat more and idle. And uh, while at night, it will try to sleep more. So that's really nice. Um, I guess this is really good if you go AFK or, or something like that. So um, we're going to check out the requirements really quickly. Just requires Papyrus and SKSE. That's it. So we're just going to go ahead and download this. I'm not exactly sure which version of Skyrim this works for. We're going to be using 1597, which is the latest version of Skyrim Special Edition. So let's go ahead and download this. All right, so here we are in game. Uh, you go to your magic, you check your lesser powers, and you can see you get the power right here. Sandbox. Uh, I got it as soon as I loaded up the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click it. Now my character is just walking over. Let's see what he's going to do. You can rotate the camera as well while this is going on. Okay, so he's going to go lay down. All right, because it's nighttime, that's why he's going to lay down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the lesser power again. And now I have regained control of my character. And now I'm going to stand back up. Now, I also got the, the mod campfire going on right now, which allows me to place this tent down. And uh, you cannot, by default, use the spare bedroll, but this uh, idle animation mod lets me do that so it'll probably let you sleep in stolen and own beds possibly uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to go to an inn and i'm going to sandbox in there okay so i teleported to the frost fruit inn in Rorikstead, and i changed the game hour to eight to make sure that it's not nighttime so my character doesn't try to sleep so i'm going to activate the lesser power again He's just going to stand there. All right. I'm going to hit the power again. Am I stuck? Oops. I think I might be stuck, guys. Okay. So I had got stuck. And then what I did was I just COC'd right back to first fruit in and you know it just teleported me right over here to this next room and then i was able to unstuck myself so i'm gonna try it again oh did you need something all right now i'm gonna sit down what can i do for you I'm trying to trigger an animation that only NPCs can do, but 
I, I guess there aren't any in here. I know like there's some where you lean against the wall. What can I do for you? So now I'm gonna hit the shout key again. Or the lesser power. And yeah, it's it, I'm still stuck. So I mean I like the idea of this mod, but it, it just seems pretty buggy. So this how I did, this is what I did. I just go like this and it teleports me right here. And then I hit the shout key and now I have control again. So I mean that's like a little workaround if you get stuck with it. Um, I really like the idea of this mod, but you know it's a little sus. That's two times already, and I'm just I'm just standing in this place, and I, I freaking hate how close Lucian follows me. That's really annoying. Yeah, I just can't regain control of myself after I do the animation. I'm hitting the jump button, the shout button, the, I mean, the tween menu works, but yeah, I, ju I just can't seem to get out without doing the console commands. Okay, so next we're going to try a similar plugin. This is Sandbox When Idle by Power of 3 which is a, a pretty well-known mod creator. So pretty much the same thing is going to happen instead of you having a spell this time. Uh, idle animations will work when you go like AFK. So instead of the camera spinning around, it should play idle animations. So let's go over the description really quickly. First, let's go over the requirements. SKSE, uh, Visual C++, redistribute, just read. Address library for SKSE plugins, backported, extended ESL support. And then uh, in our description, it says, instead of spinning camera, player now sandboxes if the game is idle for too long. Player will wander around, eat, and interact with idle markers and furniture. Press any button to resume control of the player. Player will not sandbox if in combat, sneaking, or a mount or if there are any enemies in the area player will also not interact with crafting furniture idle timer is controlled by f auto vanity mode delay skyrim ini setting default 120 seconds aka two minutes vanity camera must be enabled it will not trigger when idle for sandboxing to work installation install as a normal mod with manager place esp anywhere in your load order all right, so we're going to try this out and then we're just going to go AFK and wait for the camera to, you know, reach the time where it would normally start spinning and see if our character just goes idle. So uh, this mod does take up a plug-in slot uh, and it works for SE and AE. It has a FO mod installer, so, you know, pick whichever one works best for you. All right, so for me, it did not work. My, uh, my camera just kept spinning and... Um, I tried to show it off. I couldn't show it off because as soon as I hit the record button, uh, it would take me out of it. But it was just the spinning camera. It didn't work for me um, using 1597. Um, it could be something on my end. But I just wanted to try this out. I think that these mods are really nice, uh, especially the spell one. Unfortunately, that one just like it just kept getting stuck too frequently to the point where like the only way I could get out was to use console commands. So. Hopefully I can find a fix for that. Hopefully maybe it's just something wrong with the mod and they upda update it soon. But I'm just going to stop. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to put the links for both of these mods in the description below. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Leave a like or a dislike on this video to help support me. And subscribe to the channel if you're feeling generous. I will see you all next time.